Hey, the Summer of Steve continues, and I'm sharing some of the craziest moments that have happened behind the scenes. Now, every once in a while, a staffer gets involved in a segment. Last season, it was my radio producer, Monica, who was looking for love. Well, here's a reminder. What's your dating life been like? It's so disappointing. It's not existing now. I haven't been on a date in forever. I get up every morning at 3.30, I come to work. The guys I meet are, they're not professional, they're not established, they're needy, they don't understand my schedule, so it's just, why bother? You know, I'm, I'm here all day, so when do I meet them? It's kind of like your fault. <laughs> 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 what? I can't believe you brought your country self out here and said that. <laughs> Can you remember anything I've talked to you about? What's the oh. number one thing that I've told you to do? I don't know why, but for some reason, you keep saying, be quiet. Shut up. Stop talking. You're gonna run them away. Stop talking. Stop talking. Okay, but, Mr. H, you wrote a book. It's a little piece in that book where you say, every man is willing to change, but he'll only change for one woman. Right. I'm just waiting for that man that's gonna change for me. <laughs> this is what I've done. Mm -hmm. I have handpicked two perfect men for her. So, Monica, what's your first question to Tim? Tim, I consider myself to be a very well-rounded person. I have two degrees and I'm also very active. I need a man who matches me on this. So what do you bring to the table? Um, uh oh. <laughs> I, well, again, I have two degrees. Um, okay. Ha! I got two degrees. <laughs> uh huh, good. Okay. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, folks, you don't know how many times she done rammed them two degrees <laughs> down my throat. <laughs> Mr. H, I had two degrees, cause I ain't got one. I've been hearing about these two degrees. But for you years. make up words. So I just want to let you know that when I tell you stuff, it's because I've been to school. <laughs> okay. The school call you. I don't know why they call you alumni. <laughs> Okay, okay uh, Monica, well, what, what, else, what else you want to know about Linford? Linford, same thing. Two degrees, well-rounded, active. What do you bring to the table? I don't have two degrees. I actually have four. <laughs> Who will it be? They're both equally impressive. Very established, handsome man, ready for relationships. Only one can be chosen. What are you doing? I'm on my own show, too. You just talking. This is not an audition <laughs> for a talk show. Pick one of these oh, men, God. Monica. Stop talking. Oh. Only one can be decided. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pick bachelor number one, Tim. <laughs> Well, Monica's just one of the many staffers who ended up on camera. Not everyone's ready for it. Take a look. Steve, you have some of the hardest workers I've ever seen. Now, this is a great staff right here. Five, three, four, three, here we go. two, and two, Steve. That's Alex Duda. She's the executive producer of the show. That's my homegirl from Cleveland. She's the best sound tech I've ever worked with. Oh, I like it like that. And this is the art department. Me, 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 me. Man. They just dress you up any kind of way they want to.
<laughs> now they want to take me in the back. Talk to me. <laughs> you know, I, I got so many great people that work for us. Terrell, Wes, Ruben, Crash. It's too many to name, but they're all great. So if I left your name out, you're great anyway, okay? We'll be right back.